in this video i will discuss how to find 2d rotation matrix so first of all what is 2d rotation matrix if we have a coordinate system x y and it is rotated with an angle theta in the anti clockwise direction okay x dash y dash as th this angle is theta then this will also be theta and p is a point in the coordinate system x y then its coordinates are x and y and in the coordinate system x dash y dash the coordinates will be x dash and y dash obviously the coordinates will be different in the coordinate system x dash y dash now when we write the coordinates x dash y dash in terms of x y they are connected with one another with the help of a two dimensional matrix that is called 2d rotation matrix so in this article we will find how to derive that 2d rotation matrix so for that first of all let us find the coordinates x y x dash y dash in this figure so if we draw a perpendicular from point p on this x axis then this length is x and if we draw a perpendicular on the y axis then this length is y this is one thing and in the coordinate system x dash y dash if we draw a perpendicular from point p on the line o x dash suppose this point is b then this whole length is called x dash and similarly if we draw a perpendicular from point p on the o y dash axis then this length is y dash and one more thing is that if the coordinate systems are rotated at an angle theta then the coordinates of the system will also be rotated at an angle theta so ye wali jo line hai which is for length x aur ye jo line hai ye coordinate x dash bata rahi hai so this angle will also be theta similarly this line is for the coordinate y dash and this is for the coordinate y so this angle will also be theta so if the coordinate systems are rotated at angle theta then the coordinates are also rotated at angle theta so yahan pe humne theta angle define kar liya hai next we will find value of x dash so suppose this point is a and this point is c let us draw a perpendicular from a on the line ox dash and this point is d this is a perpendicular so in triangle o a d in this triangle this is base and this is hypotenuse so base od over oa is equal to cos theta it means od is equal to oa cos theta and oa is equal to x so od ki value aa gayi x cos theta now we have to find this length ob and ob is equal to od od plus db theek hai od we have found in this case and what is db now so for that what we will do we will extra plot this line and draw a line parallel to db this line is oe now we will consider the triangle ape so in triangle aep this angle is 90 degree this is base this is perpendicular and this length pa is the hypotenuse and we know value of pa pa is equal to y so it means ae over ap is equal to because this is perpendicular so this is equal to sin theta it means ae is equal to ap sin theta or ap is y so y is sin theta so we have found ae now ae is equal to bd so bd is also equal to y sin theta now the length ob is 
which is x dash it comes equal to od plus db or x cos theta plus y sin theta next thing is you will find this length of for that what we will do we will draw a perpendicular from this point g on this axis o y dash so we have to find y dash this length o f so what we will do for that first of all we will find this length o h by considering a right angle triangle o h g so let us do this in triangle o h g o h over o g we have to find o h and o g is given that is y so o h over o g is equal to now this o h is base because this angle is theta and this is hypotenuse so base upon hypotenuse is cos theta it means o h is equal to o g cos theta or y cos theta and next thing is we have found o h now we will find this point f h this length now how to find f h we draw a parallel line from g on this line suppose this point is i so we will find i g which is equal to f h and then we subtract this h f from this o h and we will get o f so for that we will consider this triangle g p i so in triangle g p i we have to find g i and we know this length g p which is equal to x because it is parallel hai line so g i over g p is equal to now g i is perpendicular here so this is sin theta it means g i is equal to g p sin theta or g p is x x sin theta so if g i is x sin theta g i is equal to h f so h f is also equal to x sin theta because these lines are parallel so this length is also equal now we have found h f and o h and here we have to find y dash which is o f now o f is equal to this o f is equal to o h minus h f it means o f is equal to o h is y cos theta minus x sin theta now o f is y dash so it means our y dash is equal to now we have found both the things x dash is equal to this and y dash is equal to this now let us write these values once again now if we want to relate these coordinates x dash y dash with x and y then we can write this in matrix form x dash y dash matrix is equal to cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta x y now if we do matrix multiplication here so this right hand side we will get this is 2 cross 2 matrix this is 2 cross 1 matrix so what we will get cos theta into x plus y sin theta and minus x sin theta plus y cos theta and this side is x dash y dash so x dash is x cos theta plus y sin theta which is here and y dash is minus x sin theta plus y cos theta so it means that we have obtained this rotation matrix we can denote this with t or r so this is two dimensional rotation matrix and here one more thing is if the angle theta is very very small in that case our rotation matrix r will be equal to cos very small let us say delta theta cos delta theta sin delta theta minus sin delta theta and cos delta theta 
if delta theta is very very small approximately equal to 0 then cos delta theta is 1 and when theta is very small we will take sin theta approximately equal to theta so in that case our rotation matrix will be 1 sin theta is theta theta is delta theta here and sin theta is again delta theta and this is 1 so this is the rotation matrix if theta is very small so this is all about the rotation matrix i hope that you have understood what i have explained thank you mm -hmm.